All right, I'll jump right into this. We didn't have a welding table, so we used a few two by twos and, and, and mounted them on the table and attached everything to them. We use them for quite a while. So here we are with our ends and long pieces, um, welding them on, making sure everything's square. We used a lot of gussets in this as we're amateur welders. Um, slowly trying to get our experience here. Clamping everything, measuring everything, and uh, measuring twice so we don't uh, waste too much stuff. We're moving along here a little bit. You can see we got the axle on. Some tires, more gussets. We got a trailer hitch put on the back with the spine right through the trailer. We end up uh, making the trailer a little bit longer near the end just to uh, make it flush with that. We ran all the wiring through the tubing. We used little rubber inserts on there so the wires wouldn't rub. Zip tie them up. There we are, more gussets, more gussets, lots of gussets. One mistake I would change is we actually welded the fenders on. Next time I would bolt them on, and we will be building another one soon. Another thing we did is you put the lights on the back fenders there, and when we finished later on, we realized that they uh, you couldn't see them very well, so we did move them back in the long run. You can see we got some stabilizers put on here they just turn backwards and you can pin them in place uh, doing some extra gusset work in the front of course some wiring you can see the <laughs> shoddy welds on the fenders again I would bolt them next time some trim clad rust protector paint primer and uh, and there we go we 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 put quite a few coats on it it's pretty scratch resistant. You can see there we pretty much have a rolling frame. The dogs in the background always with us working. Um, safety chains, tire mount, stabilizers. This is the top of the the cab we're building now. So the trailer part or the the, the sleeping quarters. Those magnets for welding are amazing. Um, I would suggest get lots of them. We got tons of them on sale at Princess Auto and I bet you we have close to 20 of them and we used them just about every time we were welding something. Here I am adding the little extension on the back. Um, we put that extra foot on just to make it flush with the, with the hitch so that you weren't walking into it and the extra room always helps. So here you can see us using the magnets. We're just kind of tack welding everything, getting all our angles right. We're using a piece of plywood on the floor just for a to stabilize it here it's sitting on top of the trailer it's not mounted permanently yet or anything it's just kind of eyeballing it and checking things out we made up our little mounts and stuff for the uh, fans and lights we trimmed everything we strapped everything with wood you can see we're doing a test foot here with the windows strapped all the inside metal with wood so that uh, we could attach the inner insides of this to that wood here's the floor we actually put uh, fiberglass you can see it here we glued fiberglass to the floor so that the fiberglass is actually facing the ground we picked up one of these little Milwaukee uh, band saws oh my gosh I would uh, I'm, I'll never use my chop saw again I don't think this thing is amazing the fiberglass will help protect the wood though from getting wet and, and damage from rocks you can see where you're doing insulation here. A lot of people will do the insulation with the foil in or the foil out. It's kind of, you know, choose your, choose what you want. There's, there, I've read so much stuff on all, all of it. You can see we strapped the floor and insulated the floor. We did the walls, the ceilings. We insulated everything here. We ran some of the wiring through the wood. We kept it all up high, taped it up. Here's a little ceiling fan we cut, cut out for the hole. You can see we uh, used the tin foil tape on all the joints for the insulation. We used some spray foam in some places where there was little gaps. And then we started putting on the paneling board. Now, this paneling board is not the greatest stuff to work with. I'll just pause here for a second while the uh, cutting's going on.
If you got a router, this is the best way to cut stuff out. If you got the right bits, anyway. So that paneling is a birch paneling, and I honestly, if I was to do this again, I would use plywood on the insides. You can see the kind of finished look going on there on the wall and the, and the roof. We're still not finished some of them. More of that seam tape. We used it on everything. There's kind of an interior shot. Uh, this is our door. We welded up a door rather than buying one. And uh, we strapped it, insulated it, cut out a handle, use an RV door handle lock system. You can see we're welding in the frame for the door. And of course the dogs are always with us. There's a dry fit of the door on there. Here's the door insulated. And some of the wiring in the inside coming through where our little panel is going to be. Then we started making a few little cabinets using joint and biscuit stuff. Lots of glue. Just some simple uh, storage cubbies. Here's our little shelf panel box we made. Um, there's the back insulated. Here's a little shelf we made on the inside with a light on the in inner part of it. That and there's there's where our our main panel board thing goes. You can see it here in the right. We got our most of our lights in there and the fan kind of dry fitted. Did some. We got a nice little lip on the door so no water will run down. We were just caulking around that a bit. Got a panel on the inside of the door. We used laminate flooring, cheap, cheap stuff. We got a, a electrical box on the front. We used conduit between the battery box and the and the trailer and all the wiring going through the floor. We lined the box as well just to give it a little bit of weight. Right here you can see all the aluminum outside that we cut. We, we mounted plywood on it all to get all straight cuts. It was an easy way of doing it with the grinder. We riveted all the... Uh, we riveted and, and, and used contractor's construction glue on all the paneling on the outside. There's some of the trim on the inside there you can see. This was the brackets we made actually when we moved the lights back because they were no good on the fenders. We got an exterior yellow light by the door so it won't attract as many bugs. We're installing a window here. You can see a little chain on the door to keep it from swinging open too hard. Here's our roof panel. We actually had it bent at a, on a, on a, whatever you call them, a metal bender so that the roof was all one piece and it had about four inches of overlay hanging down on each side of the wall. And the front bend we put in it ourselves. And you can see the overlay there. We do have some weight on the top just to help hold it down as we were gluing it. Of course, you need a little bit of solar to help charge those batteries. A little bit of paint. And finally some trim. Now we are basically done this except for the exterior trim. And we haven't decided yet if we're going to paint it or leave it aluminum. Hope you enjoyed the video. Again, please leave any comments uh, below. Thanks for watching, everybody.